Oh, how I always love the surprise of stumbling upon a character that's been lost to time. I go diving into the Don't Starve Together workshop all the time looking for some fun mods to showcase, and every now and then, there's something new that pops up that isn't exactly new, and I cannot believe that I've missed it. Wiley the Sugar Addict here is no exception. And having been around since 2015, it's definitely one where I blame myself for not finding it earlier. But here's the what are the flippin' odds kicker, everyone. Wiley also got updated pretty much this time last year. So while she is indeed on the older side, she's back to give us all a sugar rush at the end of the day. So let's get to it. Right to it, in fact. As before we sweet talk her stats, let's actually talk what it means to be a sugar addict. Wiley here loves all things sweets. And while we will be talking about three new sweets, the ones that she loves the most are taffy, ice cream, and melon sickles. And when we eat any one of these things, we get ourselves a sugar rush, folks. We get a temporary speed boost. We get pretty much an insta heal, depending on what we actually do eat. And a couple more things. We get ourselves a lovely temporary 25% speed boost. But again, everyone, I really do mean that this sugar rush is temporary. Only going to be lasting about 30 seconds or so. But this one might be a bit more interesting, everyone. During these sugar rushes, Wily here also absorbs most damage. And we're not talking like 20%. We're talking like... 63, 64% of damage. That is not bad. Again, I wasn't wearing armor there, and it took a tree guardian like four hits to take down my admittedly low health. And yes, I suppose here's a quick look at her ghost. My golly, everyone, get some candy in us, and everything is out of order. Oh, but the addiction of the sweet stuff is gonna have an impact on our day-to-day -day diet, folks. All other foods don't exactly give us exactly what they're supposed to give us, if you know what I mean. All food has had a slight decrease in their nutritional value. It's not crazy, and I don't think it's actually working as properly as it's supposed to right now. But just know that you won't be filling up your belly with the basics. You got to munch on the sweet stuff. But what's this? Some other basic perks are gonna retextualize what you were thinking about this character at first. Oh yes, folks. She is not just a basic sugar addict that gets speed, more damage, you name it. She also spawns in with a slingshot. Not only that, we maybe got some other tricks up the sleeve. Not only is practically every Walter ammo on the table apart from his curse rounds, we also have whatever the heck these funny glasses are. They cost six grass, two gold, and one pigskin. Let's find out. I mean, they definitely look goofy, I'll give you that. They also last for five days and give a sanity boost? Okay, I mean, sure, but... What else do they do? I'm not sure, because the mod page doesn't say anything about these in general. Oh my goodness, everyone. They could be put on pigs. <laughs> Again, I have no idea what else these things do. But, uh, yep, that was worth it. But here's what I do know, everyone. We have three new, super sweet, and hopefully nummy, crockpot dishes to discuss like the durian burger here. The thing lasts for 15 days, is a sweet, therefore we're gonna gain a sugar rush out of it, gives us 37.5 hunger, 10 sanity, and 20 health. But again, if you eat it as widely, that health is gonna be exponentially better because it is something sweet. Well, let's try the yum mush out for size, everyone. Costing a red cap, two more sweeteners, and Dairy, this is also going to give us 37.5 hunger, but 15 sanity this time, alongside that 20 health. Not bad at 
all. And last, but certainly not least, the lollipop, everyone. Costing a dragon fruit, watermelon, sweetener, and dairy, it's gonna give us 75 hunger, 33 sanity, and 20 health. A delicious lick. My golly, I also love the sprite for the thing. But yes, it is indeed time to get back on track with the stats. Wily here rushes into the constant at 200 hunger, 100 sanity, but only 90 health. So while we really won't be starving at all, we will have to worry about what fights we take part in. Especially if we are relying on the speed of the sugar rush or just wily speed in general. A speed that, unfortunately, might be a bit done broken at the moment. The mod page says that Wily is supposed to be slightly faster than all other characters. However, I can't really tell the difference. Maybe, in comparison, there is one, so what I'm saying is absolutely nonsense, so, uh, well, make notes for both, I guess. But hold up, going out of order almost made Biro forget about Wily's voice. Also, a lot of her examinations are really, really funny, and super darn unique, and definitely things that I would say. So I am all in, but give it a listen. And folks, there you have it, Wily the Sugar Addict by Suda Marama. For a character that is essentially seven years old, I gotta hand it to ya. This was a great find. Simple, small, but very sweet nonetheless. Factor in her pretty darn unique diet and Wily can actually give you a pretty darn unique playstyle. Keep down in that sugar and you'll never be caught as you continue to pelt your enemies with their slingshots. And heck, even if you do get hit, you're gonna be absorbing the damage and it will be damage that can be healed practically instantly by eating, yup, you guessed it, more sugar. You guys know me. I love a character, no matter how small, that has a theme and sticks to it no matter what. So thank you, Sudamarama, for all your work for all these years. And thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.